Yeah, you think about this, 20 years, it's a long time for a relationship, friendship, uh, particularly a band. Uh, not many bands can last a decade, let alone two of them. And you think a cover band like Jelly Bean Jam, there would hardly be a person among us who at some point hasn't seen them at a local pub, at a Christmas party, a work function. We've had them play at a few of ours here at 2UE. And this Saturday night, celebrating their long-lasting relationship with a 20-year anniversary bash at the Canterbury Hurlston Park RSL. Uh, Andy Cariophilus is one of the founding members of Jelly Bean Jam, and I'm pleased to say he's on the line. Andy, good afternoon. Hello, Stuart. How are you? Mate, I'm terrific. Nice to be able to chat with you. Yes, thank you so much for having us on. Amazing to think, isn't it? 20 years, you'll celebrate it all this weekend, Saturday night. Yeah, look, we're, we're, we're going to have a fantastic night, Saturday night. 20 years, you, you wouldn't believe it. I mean, making a life uh, out of being a musician, let alone lasting one or two years, you never had the thought when you first put it together that you'd be doing it 20 years later and probably as strong, uh, if not stronger, as we've ever been. So it's, it's quite an achievement and we're all pretty humbled and proud uh, that we're doing it on Saturday night. Yeah, so tell me, what, what's the secret? Because we often hear about the, the death of live music, the fact it's harder and harder to get into pubs, pokies, have taken over. How is it that, as you say, you're almost enjoying a renaissance now, 20 years on? Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to explain, but I just think we we just like to have a lot of fun. And I think when people come along and see us, if they've booked us for a for a public gig or a function, uh, the fact that every time we get up there, it's it's not really work even though it is our work it's, it doesn't feel like work so we just get up and have a lot of fun and uh, these days to everything from facebook through to twitter yeah. and through websites if, if you stay on top of what's going on there you still attract a, a new following and and more importantly that what's happening on saturday night there's there's a lot of the old when i say old i say that in a nice way but the old crowd that used to come and see us in the 90s sure. and the 2000s i mean they've put their hand up and, and a lot of the crowd coming on that night are people that have been seeing us or haven't probably seen us for a while but are coming back to see it on that night and that night as well we're actually doing a set with the current band but the the beauty about that night is the last two hours is pretty much 12 or 13 maybe 14 of the old members are getting back to get on stage so yeah it's terrific a, a real nostalgic night i was going to ask you i mean the name has been the constant you've been a constant but how many different incarnations and different people have been a part of it over the years I think, on last count, I reckon there might be around 30 people. Right, yeah. Uh, so we've been pretty blessed as well with a, with a good lineup. We, we A lot of bands have gone through a lot more, but we, we had a consistent lineup for, for quite so many years, and, and people only really leave if they're, uh, if they're moving overseas or, or if they're having kids. Yeah. No, well, that's, uh, that's it. Well, <laughs> that comes along for plenty of us at some point. The, the name Jelly Bean Jam, yeah. how did that come about? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a long story, but I was quite into a band called, um, a, a Prince band called The Time back then. Oh, yeah. It was just, just trying to have a, a, a fun name that, that I think once the concept came around, we ended up having the coloured suits and, and just the, the, I think that just something with a name with a, a food in it just seems to be, I don't know, for some yep. reason, a little bit more quirky, a little <laughs> bit more fun. Yeah, well, that's helped stand the test of time. When it comes to, to, to singing the songs and performing the covers, how often do you sort of revamp your lineup? Is it a, a gradual thing or you suddenly reach a point where you say, right, all brand new songs from now on? What happens? We're pretty much keeping it uh, up to date with current stuff that you know stuff that are out right now yep. to um to definitely the old stuff everything from the 50s 60s the boo blaze the, the lots and lots of discos mm. and the age group that comes through uh, you know if you're in your 40s you appreciate the older stuff if you're in your 20s your parents will listen to stuff that that you know you remember now that's retro but then your parents are also listening to stuff that their kids are into so they're into the new direction and the black eyed pea so it's we just try to stay on top of it and probably every two or three weeks we'll throw in something new in there right. and and in with the old out with the new but then two or three years later the ones that weren't working three or four years ago all of a sudden have come back in and they have a renaissance and, and all of a sudden they're not retro anymore yeah. or they are retro <laughs> and, they're, and they're working yeah that's right so tell me is there a song guaranteed to get them up on the dance floor over the years the songs you perform other than maybe nutbush city limits or the <laughs> time warp is there yeah. a song that jumps out at you that is just guaranteed to get them up on the dance floor oh, there, there'd be a few i mean something like walking on sunshine yeah right always yep. a real one that's well known but yep. the, Quite current anthems like uh, "I Got a Feeling" by Black Eyed Peas. Right, yeah. Stars, any age group. Uh, like I said, kids, uh, parents, 
they all know it, and it's a real anthem kind of party track. Yes, so that'll yeah. definitely get a, a run on Saturday night. All right, so Katrina and the Waves is a big one. That one from the Black Eyed Peas. Have you turned your hand to Gangnam Style or you leave? <laughs> we <laughs> or did not? that over last Christmas. Right. At last, it's all about March, right. April, and I think okay. that uh, it came and went pretty quickly, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. It's just that I had to try to do the whole song in Korean. So, right. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I did it very well, but, you know, you can get away with it for a little while. You reckon it had a shorter lifespan, though, than some of the others? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you think, I mean, that Katrina and the Wave song, what, that was out in the mid-80s, was it? That's, that's correct, yeah. 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 And still it'll get them up on the dance floor today. No, for sure. Is there a song you just refuse to cover or a type of song that you just think, <laughs> no way, no, we're not touching it? Look, there'll be no death metal. Right, okay, okay. No death metal on Saturday night. No, we've never really gone down that, that road. No, nah, no, nah, fair enough. <laughs> now, I know there aren't many tickets left, so if you want to find out more, you can phone 9559 0000, 9559 0000, one of the staples of Sydney. So it's this Saturday night. Uh, at the Canterbury Helston Park RSL, and there's uh, also a commemorative 20 year anniversary at Jelly, Ban- Jelly Bean Jam t shirt as well and DVD. That's correct, and anyone who books their ticket in, you'll get a, you'll get a, D- uh, a DVD as well that we've done a, basically a 40 minute documentary, but also the night itself on Saturday. We've got 17, 18 cameras coming. We've got a, a full light, uh, a full um, film crew coming, and then we're filming the night as well. Good on you. So it'll be a, a big night, another part of history. If you want to be a part of it, you can be there on Saturday night, the Canterbury Helston Park RSL, mate. Good on you, Andy. Well done on the last 20, and good luck with another at least 10, I reckon. Yeah, at least for me. Yeah. Good on you, mate. Thanks for your time, Stuart. Not at all. Take care, mate. OK, bye-bye. Good stuff. Uh, Andy Karyophilus, one of the founding members of Jelly Bean Jam. You can see them on Saturday night, the Canterbury Helston Park RSL Club commemorating 20 years together. <laughs>